let's start with your reading Pisces this reading is for Sun moon rising Venus sign we're going to look into your recent past current energies and immediate future for cross watchers please keep in mind that energies go both ways so please take the messages as the best person with you we're going to do something a little different today we're going to turn all the cards up right away and clarify them as well all right your recent past current energies and immediate future energy at the bottom of the deck we have the four of wands there is a little victory here something that you will be able to celebrate that it's going to make you happy that is going to really put a smile on your face and overall it makes you feel very warm very happy i see this fire up here it's something that you wanted something that you were expecting and that it's coming to life finally so first of all what i see with the recent past is someone who is awakening your heart again someone who's bringing into your life that sense of wanting to open up your heart to love someone and to forget about all the worries all the fears just trusting that person and be in a way careless i see that careless uh, energy a lot in the king of pentacles as well but that energy is not there because this person is um acting childish or takes too many risks or is reckless it's just because this person is abundant and stable enough that now they can let go of all the worries and just really focus on the beauty of life and i do believe that you might have met someone here someone who is represented by the king of pentacles who made you feel that way made you feel as though you can really be yourself and you are someone who usually doesn't focus too much on the negatives, you know? You always want to look at the bright side. And you want to surround yourself with people with a smile on their face. And this, especially, this particular one is someone who is making you feel very emotional. Who is making you feel as though you want to hug them, to be close to them, and to love them. And so right now we see how in the recent past you might have found someone who made you feel this way and who made you realize that you right now are ready to love. Now, what we see here is that this new beginning is definitely very emotional, but the Ace of Pentacles wanted to come up as well, which is talking about a need that you have right now to put down roots to really do something today which is going to help you build your future as well this is not a time for you to just have fun or to just think about uh, quick validation think about the present you are wanting to start putting down the foundation for something beautiful in the future especially when it comes to love now in the current energies i see you waiting the hangman you are waiting for something waiting perhaps for this person to make a move to really let you know how they feel and perhaps let you know that they're interested as well you're looking at them you are excited about what you're seeing but at the same time with the nine of pentacles they are moving very slow we're seeing with this card which is the slowest moving energy in the deck that this person is not walking away from you but it barely seems like they're walking towards you at all because of the speed and so what does this person really want are they interested are they not interested am i wasting my time what is this going to become and so with the nine of pentacles you have a lot of questions because you see how amazing they are how great they are as well this is, this is a, someone who works hard who built themselves out of nothing and you admire that a lot 
but at the same time this limbo situation is making you frustrated and it's making you feel as though you're not going anywhere and with the hangman you're waiting you're sacrificing things perhaps for yourself in order to wait on this person but eventually you will grow tired of waiting and with the ten of swords chances are since you have this energy around you that you will decide to move on to say you know what this person is not doing anything it's time for me to look elsewhere and so we're seeing here you starting to walk away taking one step you're taking two steps but as soon as you do that right when you're about to let go and move on here we have this king of pentacles changing their speed and showing themselves for who they really are this knight of cups which is all about emotions it's all about love and honesty i like this person right now because all they are bringing into the situation is romance is someone who wears their heart on their sleeve and someone who cares a lot about emotional connections this is a fundamental part of their life and i see them coming towards you when you least expected look at this eight of pentacles you're taking care of your things you are maybe at home uh, working you're doing something here you're not seeing this person coming towards you anymore and it makes sense because you have started to walk away and so now you're starting to turn back and you see right behind you this amazing knight of cups wanting to give you their love and so now it makes sense the reason why you felt already attached to this person is perhaps because you were anticipating this knight of cups energy down here and so let's see first of all how this person feels for you up here whenever they didn't show you too much interest. Oh, three cards. So with the emperor, we see how this person has been really busy with something. They are the emperor, which means that they are in charge of something. And that energy alone is distracting them from everything else. Although they seem at times careless and happy and not worried, they have a lot of responsibilities. And here they're taking care of all of them. We see these pentacles, we see something that they're passionate about, something that keeps them busy, especially in communication. But right next to this emperor, I just seen the empress. And that's how they see you. They see you this way. They see you as someone who is going to be a perfect match with them. What they have seen up to this point really looks to them as though you are going to be an amazing partner to be right next to. They actually really like you. With the Empress, they like everything about you. Your body, your hair, your eyes, the way you move, the way you talk. There is something here which they cannot stop thinking about, something about you, a specific thing that I cannot see, of course, through the card, but they are growing obsessed about you. And at the same time, they are evaluating the situation at first. Let's see why this Nine of Pentacles, why are they moving so slow? Mm-hmm, yeah. So it's very similar to what we were saying earlier. Right now, they are just busy with work and with life. But at the same time, they have an eye on you. Regardless of how detached they can seem up here, they are thinking about you. And it's funny because you are ready to move on. You are ready to let go because you think that this person is not thinking about you at all. Do they even see me? Do they even know my name? And so right now, it's um, interesting to see how this almost didn't happen. And it would be such a bummer because the two of you can really be successful together. 
the empress, the emperor. This could be a really nice relationship. And so let's clarify this Nine of Cups and Eight of Pentacles. Let's see what's coming up for you. Mm. So right now you are about to see the person behind the mask. I do see with this Two of Pentacles that you have a pentacle representing the reality as you think it is and the other pentacle representing the reality as it actually is and right now these two are going to dance together and are going to bring you clarity on what this person really feels there is something very interesting coming up here about their intentions as well for the future i feel some sort of surprise and something that it's going to make you really happy actually Back to that four of wands, back to that celebration, which by the way, is followed by the ace of swords. An unexpected turn of events here, which is going to really make you want to jump, make you want to talk to your friends and tell them about this. There is something coming up from them, which is going to be unexpected. And it's clear here that they're about to make the first move. They're about to bring you flowers, chocolates, something which will clearly make you understand that this person is interested in you. They're not playing games. They're not dancing around the subject. They're going straight to the point. And so let's see what they're planning to do there. Let's see what this Knight of Cups is, what they're going to tell you. But especially I want to look into what this person's intentions are because they're making the first move. What are they planning to achieve in this situation? Let's see how you're going to react and feel. And let's see how this connection is going to evolve in the near and distant future. I'll be continuing the reading in the extended video link below in the description box. Also, don't forget that every week I randomly select viewers that have watched the extended video to offer them a free personal 30 minute reading. Stay tuned for the extended preview and some more content made just for you. Welcome back to your extended reading Pisces. We see here someone who's about to make the first move. They have been crazy busy, honestly, up here. And although they definitely had you on their mind, they haven't been able to move towards you at all. Up to the point where you decided that, you know what, maybe it's best for me to let go. It's best for me to not have expectations over someone who doesn't even seem interested. But soon things are about to change. Communication is coming in right when you are about to move away, move on, let go of this. This Eight of Wands right here is bringing a lot of messages from this Nine of Cups, who is going to let you know about something that it's going to make you very excited. They're going to make the first move and let's see what this move is going to be about. Let's look into this Knight of Cups and see what they're planning to do and what they're planning to tell you. Hmm. I have a secret. And it's time for me to reveal it right now. So, right now...